Good morning. Today is March 26th as I am recording this and today we are going to go meet a little kitty guy named Marshall. Here is Marshall's photo. I know what you're thinking, Megan, Mika just passed away. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'm not. The thing is, is <laughs> we got Mika when we thought we would never get like another cat. We thought we were at capacity and done. We went to a shelter event and she captured our hearts and there are so many little kitties out there that needs home. That needs home? That need a home. And secondly, Mika and Ted, they really liked to play together a lot. And now Ted doesn't have anybody to play with. I don't know if I'm like trying to fill a void or if I'm like, oh my gosh, there's just so many cats out there that need homes. Um, I honestly don't know what's going through my head, but I had the inkling to want to meet Marshall. Marshall was a part of a foster litter and all of his siblings got adopted at the end of January. It's the end of March and he's the only one left. Why does nobody want Marshall? What is that about? So I just wanted to meet him and by his looks, it looks like he could be a ragdoll or Maine Coon mix. That would fit in really great with our family because we have two rowdy dogs. I mean, Peach isn't that rowdy, but Luna's pretty rowdy and our cats are very social, except for Teddy gets scared and hide. But for the most part, they're bigger cats um, and rowdy dogs. So I'm looking if we add another member to our family in hopes that they might be mixed with something that Ted and Moshi are mixed with. So that way maybe like it just will be more cohesive. I don't know if any of this is making any sense. Anyway, we're gonna go to a pet store today. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if he's there. I found him like two days ago. And when I showed Zach his page, cause Zach was out of town, he was gone. Like within a few hours, his his like little adoption page was gone. It was like, somebody might've adopted this pet. I was like, that's so weird. He's been up for adoption since like, January, like the end of February or the beginning of February, what is going on? I contacted the page and they were like, no, he's still, he's still available for adoption, but there's a lot of interest. So you might want to come fast. And I was like, okay, uh, I can't come till Sunday. So I guess we'll see what he has in store for us. So we are going to go. We're just going to show up and hope that he's there. After that quick summary, let's start out today with our horoscope. Luck is your sidekick and anything feels achievable. Your optimism is matched only by your enthusiasm. Your sense of curiosity has returned and may lead you to meaningful research or study. This is one of the best times for making new friends and connections. I don't know guys, that sounds pretty promising. We're about to head out. I wanted to show you guys Zach's outfit of the day. All Give right. us a model. Blue, blue jeans, a chubby polo shirt. I love the polo. And that's it. We are ready for fun. Dude, dude, ooh, no free feet, no free feet. We don't want to mess with the family dynamic. It's been fine with every animal that we've introduced so far. Um, so we're just gonna go and see if our hearts feel anything. We made it to the Pet Smart. It's over. Can we see it? No. Uh, probably not. Looks washed out. Basically, we're not gonna take you guys in. I'm not trying to be like, hey guys, I'm here on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Show me the cats. Um, so we're just gonna take our phone in. This is a very personal experience for me and Zach. We want to just have our full emotions there. So we're gonna maybe try to grab some clips, but there's like no promises we'll just see we'll just set the expectations everyone's running and they're looking for cats where's marshall i'm megan's husband she was calling yesterday i was texting their instagram oh okay 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 thanks for the update thank you bye he was adopted yesterday and they're being picked up today <laughs> i'm a lot sadder than i thought i would be so here he is Oh, I knew I should have just came yesterday. Casey was like, just go. And I was like... I even offered when I got home, like, let's go. Well, we're here now. No, I'm saying yesterday. They, they left at four. They wouldn't have been here anymore. So... Yeah, it's all part of the universe's plan. Oh my gosh. So this is Marshall. He's a sleepy baby. I can't tap on the glass. You're not supposed to do that. I wish I could show him. She's like, hello. Yeah, <laughs> she is like, hello. She's she's, really grumpy. She just woke up. That's why she looks <clears throat> grumpy, but she's an adult What's female. Her name? Mimi? Yeah, Mimi. She's an adult female. That wouldn't she's work like because Mimi Moshi. Right here. Yeah, because oh. Moshi would fight with her. They'd get yeah, they a, would. No, they'd she, get in a fight. She looks like she'd fight for sure. Mm -hmm. Moshi. Moshi and her would get to yeah. boxing, that's for yeah. sure. But Marshall, he got adopted. Oh, let's get the dogs this. Oh, fancy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I'm now not. Now we can focus on the animals we have. I'm not hoping for anything bad to happen or like for their adoption to fall through. But if by chance it doesn't work out in their household, I hope that they contact me and let me know. I'm gonna hit them up and be like, just like, let me know 
if it doesn't work out. How are you feeling? I'm like sadder I'm than sad, I thought I would but be. But I knew, I was already expecting this. Like, no, he was there. You, you told me like, there's a bunch of people that already put an application in. I thought they were, I thought they were bluffing. I thought they just really you. wanted me to come see him. No, because like if most people, that would discourage me if you told me there was like five applications for the cat, I want to be like, oh, I'm not even going to go. They just said there's already some interest for him. So if it doesn't work out, I'm like, I've already submitted an application. I guess we'll just see. I really wanted to meet him at least. So I am kind of sad. Me too. Okay. So I have to give Peach and Luna callers now. Aww. I'm heartbroken. Zach had his expectations set. My expectations set. were that he was um, So I I feel like I always do this to myself. I'm like, no, I'm not going to get my hopes up. No, nah, it's going to be fine. Like, no, like, I'm not going to yeah, get carried away. Yeah, you like you were willing to go in there and walk out without him. But now it sounds like you were going to go in there. If he was available, we were walking out with him. Uh, I can't be trusted. I really can't be trusted. I always think I have my head on straight and then I definitely don't. <sighs> I'm happy he's going to go to a good home. I don't want anything bad to happen to like this situation or the circumstance, like especially if like this home is absolutely perfect for him. But if any reason it doesn't work out because Mika, she's returned to the shelter twice before we ended up with her. We're gonna be here. So we'll just take it as it is. This is life and um, keeps us humbled, I guess. Keeps us grounded. Yeah. So we're gonna go get lunch and then see where the day takes us. Definitely gonna just have to like, I'm glad I didn't do my makeup because I was like, I want to do like just some simple makeup. I don't want to get all because now I'm sad. Okay. I need to put Zach to work more often because he found this really cute Mediterranean place. It's called Spitz. What's it called? Uh, Spitz, yeah. Spitz. And um, we went, we, <laughs> we tried to go outside to see if it was warmer or colder out there and it was colder. So I think Zach got a bug in his drink because yeah. of... Outside. Oops, sorry. This is a top choice pick. Am I right? Look at this. Yeah. These fries look so good. I got a gyro uh -huh. with fries and the gyro is beef and lamb. And I got a med bowl. And I didn't get olives because I don't like olives. Zach, do you like olives? I love olives. For those of you who know the olive um, theory from How I Met Your Mother, it's like people who are meant to be together. One of them loves olive books and one of them hates olives. <laughs> look it up. The olive theory. We found ourselves at Target because we need laundry detergent. And what else? A, a dryer sheets? A, a dry, <laughs> dryer sheets. I was going to say, and Attack on Titan manga. <laughs> oh, do they sell that here? Yes, they do. You could get to it. I, I think it, it would be a great pick-me-up. Do I it. Think. Or maybe at least a Starbucks cake pop. Is this one of the, do they got a I Starbucks in here? No? Okay. Let's see what we got. Toilet bound, sold out. Okay. That's fine. Not what we're looking for anyway. I don't think they have it. Ugh, it's just such a bad day. Oh my gosh, wait, it's literally right here. We have chapter one and then chapter 33. I actually used to have this. I had a few of them, but I just have trouble reading them because I don't understand. So maybe I'll just pick up this one and see if I can teach myself to read. I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube tutorial, I think. Maybe I get this one in 33. Oh my gosh, I just love this. It's like the final chapter and the first chapter. That's what we have going. Okay, we just left Target and I got myself a black tea with a strawberry cold foam on top because Leah says that it is amazing and that I needed to try it. So I'm gonna be giving it a taste test. What'd you get, babe? I got my normal chai tea with cold cold foam yes but uh just sweet cream cold foam right yeah okay because that's what i ordered so i wasn't sure how to order it i was like saying it all slow because i felt like i was gonna trip over all the words but anyway i'm gonna try this it's delicious mm. it's oh yeah that's really good it's like very two very different flavors let me see i don't know if i love it it's like, I like the strawberry cold foam and then I'm not sure if I like the black tea like with that. it. It's, like the, it's almost like the strawberry acai. Gotta mix it up, mix it up a little bit. Make it like a little, cause I, I did a YouTuber video, remember? Like where I did the YouTubers coffees and then people got mad at me cause I didn't shake up the caramel macchiato. Anyway, 
we are on our way home. Um, we are about 30 minutes from home. We're like up in a different town right now. And I think what I want to do is get in comfy clothes and then just play Fortnite because I am trying to unlock the Aaron Yeager skin. Um, Which comes on 21 it days. It comes on 21 days, but I have to finish the battle yeah. pass before we get there. So I'm like preemptively Can getting you tell if someone's actually coming or if my sensor's lying to me? It's lying. It's a lying car. And Zach got the dogs some ice cream. I did. It's, it was in the grocery aisle too. There's yes. dog ice cream. Dog ice cream. So I'm How really people actually it. buy it and eat it? Well, I hope not. I had dogs all over it. I know, but I maybe mean, you just think it's made of dogs. I'm feeling like I need to do like a background change. Not change change, but like just a cleanup of some sorts. It's like kind of messy and it's kind of chaotic, but I'm just not sure if like I'm happy with it. Like for example, this is cute, but it's red. That confuses the eye because none of this is red, it's pink. But some people think that red is pink and pink is red. Everyone has their own opinions. And I'm thinking this light just needs to go. I hate that it only goes to there and it doesn't go all the way up. That just feels like a problem. I will reset it and leave it for now. I like the plushy heaven we have going on, but at the same time, I just feel like some things need to change. Like, I need to clean this up. This was Mika's house, so I really don't want to move it. I'm feeling attached. So let's grab this and put this here. I mean, that, that's okay. And then, like, we have just so many plushies. We're not facing the right way ever. No doubt we are cluttered, right? But it's like, do I want to be cluttered or not? I don't need 500 plushies of myself available at staypeachy.com. Is, is that, is that better? Less stuff up top? <sighs> I wish that I had space for my butterfly signs, but instead they're just stuck there, which I think looks so silly, but what else am I supposed to do with them? I think that's good for now. I'm open to suggestions. The best accessory just joined us, Peach. Perfect. Good morning. I am about to leave to go to the mall to go to a support to buy eyelashes because the eyelashes I have are literally falling apart. I, when I put them on yesterday, I like glued on the pieces that were like falling onto the counter. Messy. So I have to leave to go get eyelashes today because I am doing my very first ever dual stream, streaming on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. On my TikTok at the Mega Place and my YouTube channel, Megan Place. I'm very nervous. I'm nervous about um, lag and just if my PC can handle it. So it's all gonna be a big test to see um, because I want to start streaming more at least three times a week. I've been kind of doing some soul searching, seeing where I want to dedicate my time and seeing what would be the best thing to do. Like if that's like making a ton of shorts, making a ton of long form content or streaming. And I've been going back and forth and I think daily shorts with streaming three times a week would be good because then I can talk and connect with you guys and I like that. I also asked you guys to ask me some questions because I thought it'd be fun to do a lightning round QA real quick. How was it to be in RB Battles? Really fun, but also a very long experience. I feel like recording sometimes took three hours. I think the pressure of RB Battles is one, it's a competition, so that already gets me going. And two, I sit there like this the whole time. <laughs> Cause I know that the um, they're gonna be seeing me the whole time. So I feel pressured to like do this for the entire recording session so that it doesn't look like I'm not having fun. Cause you know, we all have resting faces. Even if we're doing totally fine and having a good time, we just, this is good, you know? So I just was feeling pressured the time to, so. It, it was a lot. Why Peachy Squad? Um, because I adopted a dog named Peach and then um, I was trying to think of like a hook, you know, and I came up with Stay Peachy. Um, and then Peachy Squad just kind of developed naturally. Will I ever go back to completely pink hair? No, I think that era is over. If I were to ever have pink hair, it would be a wig probably. Uh, my hair just got so damaged and it was really expensive and all of my stuff got damaged. Like the grout in my shower was stained pink. I had to bleach it out, it was really difficult. Any plans, new merch drop on Stay Peachy? I have some, some ideas in the works, but I need to focus on connecting deeper with you guys before I invest money into merchandise. When did I meet Leah? We actually met in like 2016, maybe officially real life, 
2000, the beginning of 2017, so it's been a while. Where do you think you'd be without YouTube? Um, I actually graduated school with a graphic design degree, so I'd probably be doing some version of graphic design and probably not very well. How long have I been doing YouTube? Since it says 2014 on my channel, but I actually started it in 2013 on a different channel than I started the Make and Place channel in 2014. So I've actually been doing it for like 10 years almost. Do I like my hair when now or better when it was pink? I think I liked it better when it was pink. They both have their pros and cons. The pink was more fun, but the red matches with way more things. Like I can actually dress in anything. Do I manifest? Yes. I don't think I'm very good at it, but I do believe in manifestation. I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in the universe and I believe in karma and I believe in um, the evil eye. So, um, yeah, I do. I do. In fact, I do manifest. Do Zach and I still want kids? Yes, we do. How long have Zach and I been married? Since 2019. Yeah, May 2019. So we're coming up on an anniversary, which is exciting. How did I know Zach was the man for me? We just became best friends. We ended up talking late nights, um, playing games together, and he truly was my best friend. And I had a boyfriend at the time whenever I knew Zach and basically Zach started dating girls and I got really, really upset about it. I was like, why do I feel this way? Why am I so upset my boyfriend's in the other room? And then that's when I realized I didn't love my boyfriend anymore and I loved somebody else by accident. Um, I, it's, I know that that just like sounds bad immediately, but my ex, it just wasn't working. Um, we were very bad fits for each other and now I am in a relationship where somebody respects me. So. It's all good. And that concludes the lightning round Q&A. It's like an 11 minute clip. Okay, so I'm about to go in, but I wanna let you guys know the mission before we go. When I was in Vegas, I accidentally grabbed this. Um, it's the Hydro Milk Primer. I meant to grab the setting spray. So, returning this, and then I need to get a dupe of this. It's the ColourPop Animal Crossing, but it was like my favorite, favorite, favorite. It broke, I wore it out, it's in the bottom here. It's probably about to be expired. So I'm hoping to go in and be like, please find me a dupe of this. And then I need eyelashes. And I'm undecided if I want to exchange this for, okay, I need to exchange it for what I actually need. I don't want to be in public. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all, they have a La La Land here. I've been wanting to try their lavender latte, but I they don't have like a drive through and I'm lazy. But I think we're gonna stop there on the way out so I can try their lavender latte. And then we've made it to the Sephora. I also passed a Journeys and they had an Attack on Titan shirt in there. I had to, I had to move on. I need to clean out my t-shirt drawer. I need to make some room before I purchase anything else. Okay, I got the latte. There are so many moms here walking around with their toddlers and it is driving me insane in the best way. It's giving me such bad baby fever. Can you imagine me with a little baby? Just like, mm -hmm, we're just going. Babies are not accessories, but it's still really cute. I wanted to show you guys the Attack on Titan shirt I walked by. I thought it was so funny. I was just like, <gasps> I don't need it, but here it is. There it is. <laughs> oh my God. Great news. I'm leaving the mall. I only got what I anticipated to get. I didn't go into Abercrombie. I didn't go into buy the Attack on Titan shirt. I didn't go into Lush, even though they just released a new Mario collection. We survived them all, and now I'm gonna do a little haul in my car, show you guys what I got. We've made it back to the car. Thank gosh, I do not have social anxiety, and I want to preface that. I just really am honestly kind of antisocial, unless it comes to my viewers. If you guys come up to me and you're like, hi, and you're a viewer, love, 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 love that, but I do not like just being in public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes me feel so stupid. I don't know. So went into Sephora and I walked in holding up my item like I'm walking in with this. Like I literally did that. So they didn't think I was like snatching it and then like gonna be like, I'm trying to exchange this. And this guy came up to me. He's like, do you need any help? And I was like, actually, yeah. And then he helped me find a dupe. His name was Matt. He was very nice. He helped me find a dupe for my Animal Crossing ColourPop. This one, it's the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch tinted lip oil and it is like a terracotta orangey color. It's a great thing to put on top. So I'm gonna go with this one. It's a little bit more glossy than this. This is a little just bit more like sheer. This is a little bit more glossy, but I love Rare Beauty, so I'm sure this is gonna be great. I got my Hydro Grip setting spray, not 
primer, because I don't wear primer, I just use moisturizer. And I'm excited to have this. And then I got myself some eyelashes. I'm nervous. I always wear Lily lashes, the fall, the faux, the faux minks, not real minks, the faux ones. So these are in Powell Street. What I've been wearing lately is actually Rome. Let's try this lavender latte. I sat in line, I ordered, it was a positive experience. Look at that, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to mix it. I feel like I always, <laughs> I'm always like, am I supposed to be mixing this stuff? I don't know. So I'll give you guys an immediate reaction and then by the time I get home, I'll have more of a like, oh, it got mixed reaction. Do I drink from here? Yes. Okay. Too much burnt coffee taste, not enough lavender taste. Okay, I am about to stream. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Also, this is what I was talking about, guys, about my eyelash falling apart. As we can see, this part isn't even attached. I just, like, glued it on. She's crusty. She's dusty. Like, she looks disgusting but I got the new lashes on. They're not as dramatic as I would have liked, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we have to put our little finishing touches on. I'm so nervous because I've never dual streamed before. What I'm the most nervous about is lag, technical difficulties. I hope my computer can handle it. One time Zach came upstairs and he was like, do you have a heater running? And I was like, no, that's just my computer trying its hardest to function. Cause my computer is like as old as me and Zach's relationship. So it's going on six years and um, normally YouTubers, they tend to get new computers super often. I'm probably due for an upgrade. I just, I mean, I just, I'm gonna be playing Roblox. It's not gonna be that intense. As we can see the new background, I'm liking it. I moved this light out more so more people could see the lights. These are from the Stay Peachy shop. They're just from the regular headband. And I cut the puffs off. Like I cut, like I ripped them apart and then put metal clips on them. So staypeachy.com. And to show you guys, you guys remember we did the DIY vlog. This is how the cup turned out. It's kind of cuter on camera. I like it. I got my water. I'm gonna get hydrated. Let's do it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag Stay Peachy. Stay kind. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.